really good guy, Justin. That's it. It covers everything. But we're labeling everything these days. Um, I don't know if you're going to be good. I never used to 
facility, things like that. So anyway, just your message, you have a powerful position to message from. It may seem like a dark issue, but you are a bright spot in that dark issue. So just be out there being the light in the room. The question. The question. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
ratings matter less and less and your feedback matters more and more. Netflix doesn't believe in ratings. Amazon does not really share ratings. You know why? Because they don't give a flying ass about ratings. They only care about how you respond to their show. So those the shows you respond to are the shows that make it. So when you respond to a pro-life show, there's somebody checking that out. I'm sorry, go ahead. Let us know. Entertainment. So I just like picked up the bullhorn 
and just started chanting. <laughs> and I was by myself, and there was like, we had like 10 students there at the time. And, like, I was just chanting, and there was like all of these people, like, like thousands of people just marching in front of us, along the way to the pro abortion march. And like, our students were like, you know, like one lady was like, aren't you afraid? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just, there was a gold horn there, and I was ready to engage, so let's get this done. That kind of, I was thinking about that stuff on the plane. Like, I was sitting next to two older women, um, and they were talking about how they're so excited to women's march because they're standing there all hanging, worried about that, and like, all these old people. And I was like, sitting there, like, I'm trying to get a crazy life, and I was just like chuckling to myself. I'm like, hey, did you see us at the end? You know, at the end of the uh, at the end of the route for the women's march, they're so disorganized they didn't even mention the end of the march was, so they just started marching. And we had a banner and we're like, how do we engage? And one of our friends was like, let's just go out and leave the march. <laughs> and we're like, yeah. So we met on crazy two slices of pizza. I was digesting, and all of a sudden people start coming, we're like, holy cow, the march back. So we run out. He just grabs the banners, and we're like, go, 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 go! And we just go out, and literally our three banners are in front of the march. <laughs>
you know, civil rights are important, everyone's equal, God dies, blah, 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 but this really isn't the time to do this. And in the letter, Martin Luther King talks about those people who prefer a negative peace. A negative peace is, is the absence of t- tension over a positive peace, which is the presence of justice. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't want a negative peace. We want a positive peace in our country. And right now, we actually have that opportunity to start moving forward with that. Our generation has that chance. Our generation has advantages that the previous generation in our government never had. You know, we have science on that. I can't tell you how many times yesterday people said, I believe in human rights. And I was like, huh? <laughs> you believe in free the article from Jezebel, which is a very uh, pro abortion um, you should read it. You should read the article they wrote about it yesterday. But it was funny because they kept saying pre born. So our channel point was, you know, we believe in pre born human rights, pre born women's rights and human rights. Because at one point we were chanting because the chant, and, and people were like, it's not a human! Google it! It's science! <laughs> That's your argument. Now, Josh will tell you how to answer it better. I'm not real good at it. I just do what I do what I do. I'm like, Google it! I don't have time to explain it to stupid people! <laughs> but, we have advantages because science is on our side. This is the first generation that has the getting down of row and go. It's the anniversary of that decision. This is the first generation that opposes abortion. We've been polling this year, we released this stuff for our Institute for Pro-Life Advancement. And one of the things that we found, so even surprising to me, who I go around saying we're the pro-life generation for a living, was that she'll be for her. <laughs> well, 53% of millennials that we polled thought that abortion should be illegal in all or almost every circumstance. That's true. 